just, 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 guys welcome back to the channel today we're going to do our first course playthrough and it is from a subscriber to the channel sir camps a lot um he suggested this course so we're gonna give it a look today um so when i'm doing these course playthroughs i'm, I'm not really so much trying to score the best i can i'm just trying to highlight the course look around see what the designer's done uh, if i could add some tips here or there to uh maybe get it more plays next time i'll do that but it's it's more leisurely than uh, me trying to score hardcore on it. So uh, we're going to check out the settings. Normal, normal, medium, fast. Let's, uh, I think for these course playthroughs, we're going to play from the tips every time. And we will do pin one every time. And then also, I think I'll tone the wind down to medium. So we have some wind, but not too much because... As a designer, you really can't control what the wind's doing, and so I don't know if um, it'll kind of mess up the playthrough. So we'll, we'll do medium wins. All right, let's begin the round. I'm excited to play this. Uh, he was telling me about this Hello course there. for a while now. I'm finally getting around to it. And I would like to welcome you to PGA Tour 2K23. All right, so right off the bat, looks like we got a tropical course, which I really like. I'm into the tropical courses. Be on our way. Um, yeah, sloping looks really good. Uh, the one thing I would point out, um, just aesthetically, I like that there's trees right in the front here. They might be a little bit too close. I know they're not going to get in the way of the shot, um, but it almost appears that way. So I'd maybe move them a little bit off to the left or right. Um, and then also I see that the closer tees are actually blocking the view um so what you want to generally do is have your closer tees either in a lower position or more to the left or the right so it's not blocking the view of any of your other um t boxes all right so let's just let's just send this one good one Pins about 145 yards away. Okay, so I actually kind of like this. Since it's a fantasy course, we can do whatever we want. I like the three uh, different greens here. I'm assuming they're different pins, which I think is cool. I've actually done that on maybe a course or two um, where I had one hole where there was actually two separate greens. I'm all for it. Um, I mean, this... We're not making TGC courses here, so we can kind of do what we want. Um, I think it's a good idea. It it allows, since we have this big green up here, it looks like pin one's probably one of the easier pins, which I like. But then for the players who want more of a challenge, we have these pins down here. I think that's a really cool way to, um, to make the course more playable, you know, for all different sorts of skill levels. Um, one thing I noticed here, though... Not a fan of the one bush in um, the bunker. If you want to throw stuff in your bunkers, that's... I'm okay with that most of the time. Um, more consistency, basically, is what I look for. So if you're going to throw some stuff in your bunkers, like do it for all of them. Or don't do it for any of them. But we'll see as we go if uh, how that goes. Ooh, so I really like this wall back here, too. You probably spline this wall. I think that's a really nice touch. Um... So far, I really like uh, all the scenery, all the decoration on this course is really good. All right, let's deal off this down to the wind, see if we can get it close. That's a safe shot. Okay, here's your putt for birdie. Right by. And seven feet to the cup. So far, so good. Starting All right, my, nice for soul. I really like that one. Yeah, you might need a little more power. We got a headwind on this hole. So again, just right off the bat, I'm noticing that that front tee box is elevated. Um, you're gonna want your front tee boxes to be just slightly lower uh, than your back tees, so they're not getting in the the way of the view. Oh, cool. So we got a par three here. It's pretty long. Nice waterfall in the back. That's 
That's pretty good. Let's send it. Swing plan's not great today, but we'll work with it. That'll work. Uh, one thing I noticed there. Coming up. I'll just point it out. It's pretty simple to do. You see how it's all like rough and like jaggedy, those lines there. If you just went over with a flattener and just flattened that right along the edge, it would just make it look nice. That's a real simple thing you could do just to clean that up. Um, so far, actually, I really like the greens, too. A lot of people in fantasy courses, they kind of go nuts with um, with the slopes on their greens. These are nice and mild, um, but there is still a lot of movement in them, which I think this so far has been a really nice mix of both. Because you always want a little movement okay, um, in your greens so that uh, it'll reward better approaches, okay, um, so strategy-wise. This putt's good so far. better. All right. Okay, in there with the bogey. And you're sitting at one over par at the moment. Okay, so these tee boxes look better. It's it's not it's the one to the left there, the one to the right. They're great because they're not in the way of the view at all. Even though they're pretty much at the same height, that's totally fine because um, they're not in the way. All right, so we've got a par five here. Um, one thing that I've noticed throughout kind of already that can be cleaned up is, uh, this light rough here, uh, it's just not consistent. See, it kind of ends here and then there's none there and there's a bunch over here. I'm trying to think, um, I think that's good in one way in that it'll make the course easier if you have a lot of light rough. Um, if you're trying to make the course easier, I, I suppose that's good for play, but really I just don't like the look of it. Like it it just kind of looks a little sloppy um i'm not sure how you you did this light rough but what you're going to want to do on fairways the best way to do this is uh use the spline for your fairway and there's an option when you're splining to add a um, a second surface and add light rough as your second surface and then it makes the light rough consistent all the way around that splining the fairway you did and you could make it large or small um so if you wanted for play style um more light rough to be uh better on the player you could still do that when you when you spline it that way but the way you did it here i i get that it makes it a bit easier for people but it, it just looks a, a little sloppy in my opinion i approve and the greens below us here as we set up this approach. Yeah, uh, I know why it's pointing me here. It's because of your waypoint. A lot of times there's nothing you do about that. I think it's just part of the game. You had to have the waypoint this far. So um, I like I like that, that there are plants right there. That's a really good thing to do is always uh, where you can have uh, plants above the rock where it meets the surface. I think that's a good look. Oh, cool. All right, so I like the strategy on this one too. We're going downhill. Nice bridges, nice walkway. Okay, so I'm a dummy. I get the title of the course now. That's good, it's three greens, love it. I think that's a great title for this course now that I see that it's pretty consistent throughout. I think that's a good um, good design, too. That's cool. It's cool that it's consistent. That's just kind of like what we're doing here. we got three greens on each hole. Get down. Nice. Bunker saved me. Beautiful. Putter's coming out. That's all I care about. All right, yeah, I like all the uh, the walls you added around here too. It's, you could tell you put a lot of, of extra details in, which I think is essential for any course. It's, the more details, the better, in my opinion. Okay, this is cool. I, I like I like drives where we have to bend it around trees a little bit. So this is this is a good drive. I like this one. Nothing wrong with that. Okay, setting up here about 140 to the pin.
And there we go. Nice little approach shot. And this putt would take you down to one under. Nice. That was a good hole. Birdie for you. And here we have a lovely par four hole. Okay, we got another par four. First of all, I love the cart path. If you're going to make a fantasy course, I love throwing a cart path uh, <laughs> on the fairway. I like going, being able to have options like that to go for stuff, to go for like hero shots for the extra bounce because that's, that's key. So you did a really good job there. So I'm guessing if the wind was at our back, we would have a really good shot at getting that bounce, which is always fun. So really cool there that you threw that uh, Silky cart swing. path in. Okay, about, I'd say, 185 or so to the pin from here. I'm just going to send this. Ooh, That'll should I put some backspace? Yeah, and you've done a nice job of, like, adding buildings. There's always there's always cool stuff to look at, which I always like, and of course. Okay, Plenty of decoration. Stick right there at one under. It's interesting, too, so far, that... This is a, a tropical island course, it's a big one too. but we haven't really, uh, the coast hasn't come into play too much, which is interesting. Not a bad or a good thing, just something I noticed. Yeah, that'll play. Okay, second shot on the All right, six. long par five here. Of course, we're going to go for it. Oh, and we got these trees there. That's a nice touch. If you're going to have a long par 5, you got to make them earn it. I really like that. Make me earn this eagle. So I'm going to have to bend it a bit around these trees. That's good design. So I'm not just shooting straight into this. I guess you're just going to take that driver off the fairway. Am I going to get a roll? Am I going to get a roll? No. Ooh, that might have worked out. It's probably on another pin. Third. Good spot for a bunker. I like it. Ooh, you're playing that one like a pro. Unbelievable. You managed to bring things down to two under after that one. Loading up. All right. What do we five. have here? Another par five. I like it. Back to back. All right. Let's do it. Let's score. Okay. Let's take a look at the map. Got a Big dog leg, got some water there, that's cool. Oh, what do I see over here? Nice. Love it. I'm I'm a sucker for shortcuts and hidden fairways. I think they're just super fun. So if you put one in your course, no matter what, I am gonna oblige. I am gonna take this. I think they're fun. Oh, what an awful swing. It's going through some brush. Oh, I messed that one up. Long grass here. I got too excited. I was so impressed by the secret shortcut. Completely boned the shot. Actually. Yeah, Get not closer sure where to this the green uh, here. Going. Well, that's too bad. Setting up here now for our third shot. Oh. There we go. Now we're on the green. Well, that'll do for now. Sink this. You can move down to three under. Oh, that was almost in. This one's yeah, in. like I mentioned Five before, foot. I really like your greens. I like this that they're striking. not too and harsh either way, but the that pop. there's still a bit of movement everywhere. I think that's really good. Blowing out there. We got a headwind on this hole. Oh, cool. We got a little bridge here, a little rock walkway. Oh, we got a par three. Okay. Let's see what our uh, our high reel do here. Looks like we could have a birdie on this hole. Ouch! Get in the hole. Oh, come on! All right, give this a tap. And that has kept you at two under par. I like the little tropical gazebos there in the background. That's cool. And the ninth hole is ready for us. Hopefully you're ready for it. So that's a really cool example to the left there where you, where you have uh, the waterfalls 
in the tee shot. I love that. I think that's great. One thing you really want to focus on when you're making fantasy courses is what you see in your tee shots and what you see around the green. Those are two areas of your courses that you really want to put a lot of extra effort into and put the most detail you can because that's where the majority of the shots are coming from. And a lot of times you'll be sitting here at the tee for whatever reason playing with friends and you'll see this this view right here a lot. So I like that you put uh, this waterfall here. It's just a nice little extra something to look at. I think that's a great idea. Um, yeah, and that looks pretty good too with, with how you did the waterfalls. It can be cleaned up a bit, but um, you could also add a bunch of different kind of plants up there along the rocks to kind of hide where the waterfalls above the surface a bit and where it's falling. You could add just a whole bunch of different foliage and stuff to really take that up a notch too. But yeah, the, the idea of having that waterfall there, really good idea. Really like aesthetically how that looks. Yeah, again, again with the light rough. I think so. Next, next course you make really um, when you're using the spline on the fairways, really use the uh, add the the second surface and do it that way. It's going to look so much better when you have consistent second surfaces, consistent light rough everywhere. Oh, nice. So I like that you protected on a par five here, protected the green with two bunkers. That's really cool. Great idea. Um, I don't really like how the bunker is actually through the green, sort of there. It'd be better if you just kind of chopped off that end of that green, and that wasn't even green at all, honestly, because it's just kind of weird to have um, the green there. All right, so we'll likely end up in this bunker, but I like it. I like that he's uh, protecting... Take his green the here. Off the fairway, are you? Well, so technically I am on the green, so give me credit for that. Right, Just uh, the wrong green. Shot. Perfect flop here. Ooh, am I going to hit that? I might hit that palm in front of me. We'll see. Ah, oh, we're good. Seven foot putt coming up. No, oh, that's going right down. Ooh, right around. On this hole, we've got this left for par. And after that hole, you're two under par. All right, front nine was cool. Really liked it so far. Really, really cool course. A lot of extra details. Sculpting's really good. Really just the main thing we're seeing so far is the, the light rough. Um, also, too, it's not the end of the world, but all these bunkers, if you just put a little more depth in them, they're all kind of shallow. So if you went through and uh, lowered lowered them a bit even just like a foot foot and a half i think it would go it would do wonders for the look of the course nice and probably probably one of my favorite holes strategically is the uh the reachable par four i think every course should at least have one of them so i'm glad to see it here going for the green and second shot on the 10th coming up Cool. And there's like enough movement on here too, where it makes the second shot. You have to think about it. You can't just you gotta put some backspin on it. Nice. This one's six feet away. Boom. Well and done. That was a good hole. Strategic wise, it looked good. All that. And after that hole, you are now three under par. Okay, this is different. This is cool. I like this. So we got some rocks up here. Let's check out the map. Yeah, so it's kind of like two different elevations here that are the rocks are kind of blocking off. Um, one thing, actually, we'll get closer first, and then I'll comment on that. Okay, we may one thing I, I think you could do for here, actually on both, it looks like actually, um, yeah, so this is all just the same fairway. And you just kind of did some sculpting and threw some rocks and plants in there. Um, it'd be really much better if you made these separate splines. So this area up here, this middle area, make that all one little fairway up there. Um, and then this area down here, oops, this area right in front of us, cut that off. Uh, 
basically. Jeez, it's hard to. So yeah, cut that off into three. So that those would be three separate fairways there. Um, cut them off. Go right close to the rocks, and then also once you do that, uh, you could put a lot more plants and blend the plants into the rocks. Um, it would just look a lot better just aesthetically. I mean, I'm sure it doesn't affect the play that much, but it just kind of looks bad when you have um, fairway running straight into rock, straight into bunker. Um, it's a good concept. I really like the concept for this whole. Uh, it could just be really cleaned up by making these separate fairways. All right, let's get up here. 165. Okay, this is way up here. Get up the hill. There you go. Nothing wrong with that. Safely on the green. Looking really good. All right, now let's rip out the scorecard. See what that's saying. That wind is going right to left out there. Okay, this looks pretty good. I like this. Another par five. Uh, there's where's one real quick easy fix so anytime you see that little sliver of rock all you have to do is just raise that it would probably be two inches just make a little bump there little hump and that would raise up and get that sliver of rock out of there and that's just aesthetic stuff but you know when you're when you're getting done with your course and you think you're close to publishing that's just one thing one little thing like that, that you can go through we'll, we'll and easily that. fix in a okay, second or second two shot here on the 12th That's bold, using the driver off the fairway. I'll, I'll take it. This is what our third shot I like that you put that hump there. That's That was good design, so it gave the people who weren't really going for it so they didn't run right into the bunker. That was cool. Oh, we got a flop situation here. Four under par if you can sink this right here. Well, the putt appears to be online. Nice putt, and that is for birdie number five on the day. Got a par four on this one. All right. I was just kind of looking at uh, your tee boxes here. I see that you used uh, a pretty standard shape for them, and that's okay. Nothing wrong with that on a tee box. Um, I generally, for whatever reason, I personally go with like circles, but it could be anything. It's kind of interesting that you use that shape. I don't yeah, know that I've seen that before. Like All right, here's our second show. I think most people actually go with squares, so. Cool, I like the pin placement. It's nice that you threw these rocks and these plants back here, too. Aesthetically, it's nice. It looks good. Little gripe, but you probably don't want... Yeah. I was thinking, yeah, you don't want that tree and that rock. But then again, who cares? Let's go for it. Oh, yeah. I'll, I'll, uh, I'll approve that. That was a good putt, and it drops in for birdie number six on the day. Good luck. Par five ahead of us here. All right. Ooh, so are we going to get far enough to get beyond this tree? I don't know that we are. So we might have to uh, bend our approach a bit. Maybe we can sneak through these trees here. Ah, nice. Second shot on the 14th. Yeah, I, I like that touch. I think it, it throws a little bit... Uh, got to think a little bit more about your shot. I think that's cool. I enjoy stuff like that. I see that every day. I guess you're just going to take that driver off the fairway. I think it really wasn't going. reachable in the first place, so. Okay, third shot. Third shot. It's just a really long par 5, which every course needs a really long par 5, I think. Mix it up. So we got 908, 104. Let's just deloft into it a bit. Oh, we're uphill though, so maybe a little more. Tempo's not spectacular that. today, but Here's we're working with it. Birdie. Oh, this one could drop. And it drops from way out. Fine work, friend. 
And this is a short par four. Ooh, what do we have here? Down. Short par four. All right. Looks like it's downhill. Do we have a little shortcut here? I think we do. Love it. This is great. I have a feeling no matter what I do, I'm going to hit this bunker. But hopefully we can bounce it off this rock here. But this is interesting. I like it. I don't know that I've seen a hole quite like this. And I'm always down for that. Always down for seeing new holes. That's kind of one of my favorite things about playing other people's courses is seeing something that uh, I haven't seen before, you know. And this is pretty cool. I'm sure you did. Get a bounce off the rock. That ah, that's all right. So I think it, uh, whatever pin was up here, that's like the perfect pin for this particular hole. To maybe go for the albatross or the eagle. So it looks like we're down a little bit. 32. Maybe I'll just partial this uh, flop from here. Little 95 percenter. Ooh. All right. Four feet left. And Fun hole. I like that one. That was cool. Let's see if you can use the wind on this hole, left to right. All right. So I know, like, I think it was the first hole I mentioned. Uh, if you're gonna throw stuff in bunkers, like, do it all over the place. And it looks like you 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 started doing that here. It looks like you do have a bunch of stuff in the bunkers, so uh, it makes more sense now. I think on the first hole, you kind of just had that one one kind of bush in there, but it looks like you're you're being pretty consistent about it. So it's all good. That'll do. Okay, about 230 yards from here. Oh, nice. Got a tough one here. I think we probably partial this. Do we do four iron from here? Nah, nah, we don't do four iron. Let's see where this takes us. I like that uh, most of your, your par fives have, have still been pretty challenging, which uh, I think is cool. It's fun. They're not just gimme, gimme eagles. But we do need to put some backspin on this. Not that much back then, though. 800 par is waiting for you if you sink this putt. Okay, it's a lengthy par four. Okay, I like what we got here. I like the palm that's makes you think a little bit. Like, I'm going to bend it around personally. I, I doubt it would hit, but I like that it that makes you think a bit. And it's far enough to where it's not kind of right in your face on the tee box, but it's farther down the fairway, so you got to think yeah, about you'll it. Yeah, take that. And this one's about 125 yards out. Uh, let's take some off this and send it. Yeah, that's going to do just nicely. This one's for birdie. How on earth did you... Did you judge that? I didn't. Did not think that was gonna drop. That was amazing. All right, 18th That's hole. What do we have here? This one. A tough par three. Okay. I think there's there's been maybe a couple of courses of mine that I've ended on par threes, or I've even started a course on a par three, and I try not to do that anymore. Um, there's nothing wrong with it per se, but just for me, the courses I like to make, I really like to end on a par five or a reachable par four or just like or even actually a, a tough par five or a tough par four um something about ending on a par three to me i i think it kind of takes away the fun like you want you want them to score and be able to score late um but that's just me that's a personal thing so that's not a real critique that's just a personal thing the stuff i like to do Sending up here All with right. a very long putt. Ooh, that is I can't hit him on. Morning, but, uh, good, good All right, so that was fun. I really enjoyed that course, actually. There was um, a lot of the decoration was really good. You could tell that you put... Uh, a lot of effort into all, adding all the extra decoration and the sloping was good for the most part uh, I really liked that the greens weren't too extreme but there was some movement you had really good balance there it was a fun course um, the the one thing though that I think you could work on is definitely um, splining uh, your fairways and 
and getting the light the transition from the light rough to the fairway getting that more consistent i think would do wonders uh for just how your course looks but it plays really well um i would say just work on the transition from light rough to fairway um and i would say too everybody watching this channel give this course a play it's it's really fun um anyway guys thanks for uh joining us for the first course playthrough um adios I'm just, 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 just